Congratulations, Corinne, on being chosen as the Roots of Development 2022 honoree. I can think of no one more deserving of this award than you. Your commitment to human rights and to the people of Haiti has been the cornerstone of your public service. You've always been proud of your heritage and determined to improve the lives and create opportunity for all the strivers, immigrants, and those who've experienced deprivation. You are not just tireless in your pursuit of the public good. You are a brilliant strategist and an, and an innovative thinker and a wonderful person. I still remember when I first met you as a student in my American Parties and Elections course. That was in the fall of 2001. Yes, that was really quite some time ago. The 2000 presidential election had been contentious to say the least. George Bush defeated Al Gore only after the Supreme Court stepped in and stopped a Florida recount. We began the semester in the shadow of the 9-11 terrorist attack on the World Trade Towers. Having you in that class was simply a gift. You are an idealist and an optimist, but with a deep understanding of the issues that were dividing Americans. You always ask the difficult questions, but you are on intent on figuring out how to build the majority coalitions to make America better, to make it fulfill its promise to those who were struggling economically and underrepresented in the political process. And you haven't really changed your agenda. And if I ever needed anyone in the class to answer a question, I knew I could call on you and you would just have the right answer. You would just know what to say. And then later in your career, you came back to Columbia to teach and inspire another generation of students and also to become a student of Mayor Dink David Dinkins. And yes, I know he thought you were his student, even though you were a professor at the time. He was so proud of you. Whenever he spoke about you, his face lit up with joy. And now the White House Press Corps is really lucky to have you at that podium. And President Biden is lucky to have you as his press secretary. But most importantly, Corinne, we, the American people, are lucky to have you fighting for us. I love you, Corinne, and I couldn't be more proud of you than I am today.